what's up everyone um let let's talk okay let's talk about some serious stuff let's talk about what matters um with all the madness and with all the crazy things going on right now in this world um, and things that have gone on from time past up to now and that which will go on later. We need to know how to um how to live through these things and <clears throat> and how to to move in a divine way um we need the supernatural to to be a part of our daily life in order to propel through the obstacles that come against us in life. Now, <clears throat> I'm just going to quote this scripture and, and deal with, as I said, what matters. Because um, the supernatural is necessary in order to to move beyond the circumstances of the natural and live higher and above that it is possible but but understanding is key now this passage of scripture that you see there i'm going to quote it you have an anointing. <laughs> Let me let that settle in for a minute. You have. Let's talk about what you have as a believer, okay? You have an anointing. That would be power. You have an anointing or power that you have received, who's, here's who you received it from, from the Holy One, or uh, translation, the Holy Spirit. <laughs> and, and here's what that anointing does. That anointing teaches you concerning all things. I, 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 I'm going to say that again. I'm going to say that again. <laughs> you have an anointing power. So you do have power as a believer. You have that anointing or that power and who you received it from was the Holy Spirit <laughs> or the Holy One. Now, what that power does <laughs> is that power, that anointing teaches you. Here's what it teaches you. It teaches you concerning all. That, that, means, that means nothing is left out. It teaches you concerning all. All things. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> now, <coughs> I spoke earlier how God the Father has sent Jesus, his only begotten Son. And the son came in order to do the will of the father. But when 
the son ascended into heaven and was given all power and authority over heaven and earth, the son sent the Holy Spirit from the father. So the father sent the son <laughs> after he did what he had to do here. He ascended into heaven and then he sends us the Holy Spirit. <laughs> so the father sent the son, the son sent the Holy Spirit to dwell on the inside of us. He said that he is another comforter. <laughs> I'm leaving but I'm not going to leave you as an orphan. I'm not going to leave you as one without parents. <laughs> I'm going to leave here physically, but I'm going to send you someone back <laughs> who's just like me, <laughs> spiritually. And he's going to dwell on the inside of you. He's the spirit of truth or the Holy Spirit. What he's going to do is he's going to lead you and guide you into all truth. <laughs> and he's going to show you things to come. In other words, he's going to prophesy to you. When it comes to things to come, these are things that only God could know because only God knows what's coming. <laughs> only God knows what's going to happen a week from now. Only God knows what's going to happen a year from now. Only God knows all things pertaining to the future. But he said the Holy Spirit is going to reveal to you <laughs> things to come. Another thing that he said <clears throat> is it is written that in the last days, watch this, I will pour out my spirit <laughs> on all whole flesh. Here's what's going to happen when I pour out my spirit, the Holy Spirit. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. <laughs> In order to prophesy, you have to see something to come. <laughs> you have to know something that only God could know. Because to prophesy is to foretell an event before. I'm going to say that again. To prophesy is to foretell an event before. Before that event happens. To prophesy is to be able to see what's coming. And see beyond the day that you are living in and look into other days that you have not yet lived in. Woo! Woo! And be able to declare what you have seen. <laughs> you better hear me. You better hear me. And, and be able to declare what you have seen in days that have not yet gotten here. The Holy Spirit is going to cause sons and daughters to prophesy, to declare things from days that they have not yet lived in. <laughs> to speak of future events and see it come to pass. They are going to prophesy. Watch this. Watch this. Old men shall dream dreams. Young
young men shall see visions. What kind of dreams? What kind of visions? This would be God-given dreams and God-given visions. Dreams from God. Visions from God. <laughs> All of this a result of the Holy Spirit being poured out. Okay. <laughs> so we see this. <laughs> that the Holy Spirit is the one who is in charge as God down here. <laughs> I'm going to say that again. The Holy Spirit is the one who is in charge as God down here. He is the one that's working as God down here. The Father is in heaven, seated on his throne. Earth is his footstool. Jesus also is in heaven, the physical body of Jesus, which was made uh, uh, immortal after being risen from the dead, it was sown in corruption, but raised in incorruption. So now that body has been changed and made into an immortal body, which cannot die. He is seated on the right hand side of the father, also in heaven. But who is down here <laughs> is the Holy Ghost. <laughs> He is the only one down here who is operating as God with us. <laughs> Better yet, God in us <laughs> as the believer. Mm. So, <clears throat> the ministry that we have been given is the ministry of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> woo! Woo! The ministry that Moses was given was the ministry of the flesh, written and engraved on stones. <laughs> it was about effort, about human effort. More about you, more about what you can do, more about what you can figure out, more about how you can make it happen. <laughs> but the ministry that we now have is the ministry of the Spirit, the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Now, uh, the Bible says that the ministry, I'm quoting it now. Of the spirit of God is more glorious <laughs> than the ministry written and engraved on stones. The ministry that Moses had had some sort of glory, but nothing compared to the glory that is revealed under the ministry of of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> because the ministry of the Holy Spirit is less of you and more of God. <laughs> Woo! But the ministry written and engraved on stones was more of you and less of God. It was more thy shall not, thy shall not. Don't do this. Don't do that. It was all about your effort to follow commandments. <laughs> Woo! But the ministry of the Holy Spirit <laughs> is less of you and more about God. <laughs> Woo! More about anointing. More about the supernatural on your side that is causing you to act a certain way and causing you to do certain things and causing you to be aware of certain stuff. <laughs> 
<laughs> so it is Christ in you. <laughs> Not out there somewhere. Christ in you. <laughs> the hope of glory. <laughs> Woo. Hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me. <laughs> so we see that <clears throat> the Holy Spirit is poured out in the last days. Days. Plural, not singular. Plural, meaning more than one day. <laughs> the Holy Spirit is poured out in the last days. <laughs> on all flesh. <laughs> Woo! Sons and daughters shall prophesy. Young men shall see visions. Old men shall dream dreams. Now, <clears throat> how do these dreams happen? How do these visions happen? How do these prophecies come to the sons and daughters in order for them to prophesy? How are they getting this? Let me tie this into the scripture that I have posted. <laughs> you have an anointing <laughs> that you have received from the Holy Spirit. From the Holy One, you have an anointing that you have received. And that anointing teaches you concerning all things. So, the anointing, watch this. The Holy Spirit gets on the inside of you. <laughs> and then... He releases, watch this. I'm going to show you how God does it. I'm going to show you how God does it. He gets on the inside of you. <laughs> and then he releases an anointing on you. <laughs> and that anointing that he releases on you. Causes you to have the ability <laughs> to prophesy, <laughs> to see things in the future, and to be able to declare the stuff you see coming. <laughs> Woo! The anointing he releases on you causes you. To dream dreams from God. <laughs> and see visions from God. Now. <laughs> dreams. Hear me. <laughs> and visions. Is a language. <laughs> from God. <laughs> I'm going to say that again. Ah, you didn't get it. Dreams. And visions is a language from God sent to us by the Holy Spirit. And the anointing is what causes us to receive that. <laughs> so, the more anointing. <laughs> I'm going to let that settle in for a minute. I, 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 the more anointing of the Holy Ghost, <laughs> then the more teaching by the anointing, the more seeing visions, the more seeing of visions, the more seeing and dreaming of dreams from God, the more hearing the voice of God, the more being aware of certain stuff that you wasn't aware of. Because the anointing 
is telling you, go here, go there, talk to this person, do this, do that. The anointing is making you aware of certain stuff. Now, let, 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 let me help you understand. When you don't know what to do. <laughs> Sounds like you, yeah, it does. When you don't know what to do. <laughs> The Holy Spirit <laughs> begins to release the anointing and that anointing causes you, it causes the, the real you on the inside to come up with an awareness. <laughs> Where suddenly, now you, now you know. The stuff you've been trying to figure out and could not lay your finger on it. The Holy Spirit releases an anointing on the real you. Your spirit. The spiritual you. And then the spiritual you begins to wake up and begins to take over. Not only take over, but take over with a certain awareness that you didn't have before. <laughs> to where suddenly now you know, this is what I need to do. <laughs> I need to go here. <laughs> As a matter of fact, it will, even, it, will, it will be so strong on you at times to where nobody can talk you out. Of it, you'll say, mm -mm, mm, No, no, I need to go here, <laughs> but that doesn't make sense. Yeah, but, 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 but I feel on the inside, I need to go here, <laughs> I need to do this, this right here. This is what I need to do. <laughs> Suddenly, you begin to start knowing things that you didn't know before. Because the anointing of the Holy Ghost will make you know. This is often how the Spirit of God speaks to us. He says, I see what you're going through. You're dealing with some stuff. You're hard pressed on every side. Yet not crushed. Perplexed, but not in despair. Struck down, but not destroyed. You still believe, but you don't know how none of this is going to come together or work for your good. That is when the Holy Spirit, as you believe, he begins to release an anointing that causes you to see with his eyes. To perceive things beyond what is natural. Without the anointing, hear me. Without the anointing, then you are functioning on natural terms. You're functioning like a normal person without the anointing. But with the anointing, <laughs> You are functioning <laughs> beyond what is normal, beyond what is natural. You are functioning supernaturally because now you're able to know things that you never was able to figure out. You're now getting dreams that make sense. Where when you wake up, you remember the dream. You got some answers from the dream. <laughs> God let you see what he sees. <laughs> he showed you what's on his mind. Here's what you got to understand about dreams from God. 
dreams from God is that which is on God's mind. <laughs> He's saying, this is what I'm thinking about. I'm going to let you see it. When he gives you a vision, same thing. It is what's on God's mind. It is him saying, this is what I'm thinking. Now, I'm going to let you see it. <laughs> I'm showing you what I see. <laughs> I'm showing you what's going to happen. I don't care about all that garbage that's going on now. I'm showing you what I see in your future. This is what it will be. <laughs> Hear me. The anointing of God is so powerful that not only does it change the way you see things, change the dreams you get, change the visions you get, and change the way you understand as a person. <laughs> Putting you in the rim to where you can see things as God sees. <laughs> But the anointing is a power that also causes your circumstance and situation to respond to you favorably. I'm going to say that again. I'm going to say that again. That was from above. <laughs> the anointing not only causes you to see as God sees <laughs> and perceive a thing the way that God would perceive it, to understand a thing with, the, with an understanding from God, to dream dreams from God and see visions from God. Not only does the anointing cause you to do that, But that power on you also causes your circumstance and situation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me let that settle in. Causes your circumstance and situation to respond favorably toward you. To where not only is it quickening something in you. <laughs> but that same anointing that's on you is also causing things to work externally. <laughs> that's what you need to understand. It causes things to work externally for you and in your favor. It causes stuff not only to work on the inside of you, but it also causes stuff to work on the outside of you. And it brings things together. Hear me. <laughs> This is how things are going to come together. Yes, I'm talking to you. <laughs> no matter how difficult your circumstance and situation appears to be. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is going to get on you <laughs> as you believe. <laughs> And that anointing is going to change the way you think. <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you. It's going to change the way you think, the way you do things. It's going to change the way you use your gift. It's going to change your abilities and talents. It's going to change what you know and what you understand. It's going to change the dreams you have and the visions you have. It's going to change all of that. And it's also going to cause your external situation that you're going through <laughs> to
to respond favorably toward you. <laughs> uh, 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 the anointing is how God does everything. He gives you the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit releases an anointing that's designed to make you see things the way God sees, one, and also make doors open for you and for stuff to be favorably on your external. So it works internally and externally. The anointed. <laughs> we're, we're, we're sitting here saying, Lord, show me this. Lord, tell me this. Lord, what do I do? How do I fix this? How do I fix that? And, and, and we're not getting the answers that way. Because he wants to release an anointing. <laughs> He's saying, stop asking me that. And understand that what I want to do is I want to release an anointing <laughs> because my anointing is not only going to give you the answer you was looking for. It's going to cause the answer that you was looking for to come to pass. <laughs> Hear me. <laughs> we think that what we need to do <laughs> is we need to ask God to tell us what to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know I just hit about 90% of you right there. We think that what we need to do <laughs> is we need to ask God to tell us what to do. Because we think the solution to the problem <laughs> is based on our knowing what to do so that we can go and do it. Right? Yes, right. That's what you think. But let me correct you. Wrong! <laughs> and this is the stall here. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you the truth. This is why everything has been stalling. Because you think that. <laughs> but let me help you with the word. We don't need God to tell us what to do because it's not up to us <laughs> to go and fix it. See, that's what we want. We, because it naturally, naturally, we think that if God just tell us what to do, then we can take that information and run with it. The problem with that is this. If God was to do that, and you were to take the information and try to run with it and make it happen, you would mess it up. <laughs> so, the reason why God is not giving you that, yes, I'm talking to you. The reason why he's not giving you that is because the way that he wants to do it <laughs> is not that way. Now you may think, Lord, why are you silent? Why are you not telling me what to do? Don't you know that if I don't know what to do, I'm going to make a bigger mess? Why are you going to leave me like this and let me make a bigger mess? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> because you, 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 think that it, it, you think that what you need is to be told what to do so that you can run with it. 
That, 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 that's what you think. You, you think you need information on how to figure it all out, how, uh, how to fix it all out, how to, how, to, how to lay out the whole plan. You, 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 you need to be told how you're going to do it. But, 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 the, but the thing is this, it, it, it's, not, it's, it's not that you're going to do it that way. <laughs> That's not how he wants you to do it. <laughs> what he wants you to do, hear me, is he wants you <laughs> to receive of the anointing. <laughs> Yeah, I might help you understand something. He wants you to receive of the anointing. And the anointing will teach you <laughs> those answers you've been asking God to just give you. Now, here's the difference between the anointing teaching you. And God just giving you answers. The difference is this. If God just tells you what to do. And you begin to take the information and try to make that happen yourself. Then you will screw up his timing. <laughs> because only he knows his timing. You will screw up and mess everything up if he were to give it to you that way. That's why you're not getting it through that channel. <laughs> so the way that he wants to give it to you is not that way, but this way. He wants to give it to you by releasing the anointing on you. Now, when the anointing is on you, then you do get that same information that you was asking for. But the difference is when you're given that information, that power also causes you to move at a certain timing and it causes your situation <laughs> uh, to work. Based on your revelation. Yeah, 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 hear me. <laughs> and things to come to pass the way that God wants it. And nothing is able to stop it from happening. In other words, when the anointing is on you, you can't screw up. I'm, I'm going to say that again. When the anointing is on you. You cannot screw nothing up. You can't mess up the plan. You can't mess up. You're not able to. You're not able to mess up the timing. You're not able to, to, to work outside of his will when the anointing's on you. When the anointing is on you, you get all those answers. You know where to go, what to do. You get all of that, but at the same time, of you getting all of that. <laughs> Your circumstance and situation also corresponds to that anointing and makes everything happen the way it should at the right timing. So you get put in the right place at the right time and everything unfolds the right way and nothing gets screwed up because the anointing is making sure nothing gets screwed up. But if you were just to be given information without no anointing, <laughs> then you would screw it up. So there you have it, y'all. The Holy Spirit has given you an anointing. You have received an anointing from the Holy Spirit and that anointing is what teaches you peace.